We must really like airboat rides. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we are here at the Everglades Safari Park in the Everglades in Florida. We're gonna do another airboat ride. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit different than the ones we've done on, otherwise on our channel, because this one's actually in the Everglades. Uh, so it should be an exciting time. So if you wanna check it out, stick around, and let's go. Let's go. All right guys, so our first observation is that these boats are so much bigger than the boats we were on previously. Um, the whole thing here about the um, Safari Park is that you can either take the big, the big boats or you can pay a little bit extra and get the private boats. Uh, Lewis said we did not need a private tour of the Everglades, so we yeah. sprung for the cheaper tickets. $300 yeah. a person to take the right. private ones for 40, 50 bucks. It these. was like 50 bucks, yeah, for, for, for the big yeah. ones. These so. ones are like, these are like school bus size. Yeah, these, these are, are huge, huge ones, huge ones. Like four times probably the size of yeah. the other boats that we were on. Yeah, but supposedly we're, we can see some alligators yeah. and some crocodiles. Oh, cool thing about these, I just noticed they actually dual engine. Do you see that? They each have two engines. So oh, okay. I've always seen these uh, boats with the big V8s at the back. Mm -hmm. I've never seen one with two engines on it, so that's So does neat. that make it a V16? No, not really. <laughs> it didn't, didn't quite work like that. Two V8s, yeah. Well. But, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I've never seen one like that. I guess we're gonna go real have, fast. to make sure that they get in tune just right, you know, to give the equal amount of thrust. So that, but oh. that's an interesting If not, you'd go like uh, in circles? Engineering. Yeah, yeah, you would go one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Okay. Excited to check it out. Yeah, okay, well let's see what other things we can find out. Yeah, maybe once we're area. done with this, we'll go inside and see if they got any gator tail. The place down the street did. Uh, oh, I'm gator tails for like lunch? Yeah. So, yeah, so they do have a restaurant here, so maybe we'll see if they have. I think uh, they do have it on the menu. It's one of my favorites, so okay, I'm well, check great. that out after. That's going to be so greasy. You have to love that. All right, honey, so what all is included with the price of admission? Is that a trick question? Because you read the website, I didn't. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Why don't you tell me? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, so what is included with the price of admission? So you get obviously the airboat tour, about 40 minutes, 40 to 15 minutes, they said. Uh, there's also an alligator show, and you also get access to the jungle trails. So we will see uh, if we see anything cool, and if we do, we'll show you guys. Let's go. Hi guys, and there are the prices and the options. So we picked option number one, uh, and instead of being 40 to 50 minutes, it's 30 to 40 minutes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Oh, yeah. Look at the fish. It's like a koi fish. <laughs> hey, buddy. Alright, honey, so what happened? So we got checked in, mm -hmm. gave him our ticket. We got a photo, mm -hmm. a photo op. We will not be buying that though. We usually don't. No. Uh, they tried to get around them because they don't want them wasting their, mm -hmm. their film, but really it's, it's digital, it doesn't yeah. cost them anything. Right, they don't care once they buy the SD card. I just don't like the high pressure sales yeah. later on. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so we got gave them our ticket mm -hmm. and we're on the boat now. It's uh, sitting anywhere you like. So we yep. took the end here on this row. Yep. And we're going to see if uh, we can get close to alligators. Oh, great. And then, um, so they did give us these handy dandy uh, oh, yeah. earplugs. Is that what, I guess that's what you want. To that's, what I, that's what I was trying to get you to uh, talk forgot, about. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, so we got, we got handy dandy earplugs. These are nice. They are individually wrapped. A lot better yeah. than some of the other airboat tours we went on where they just give you one out of a bucket. Mm -hmm. So even though this is our third airboat tour in like a month, we still can't seem to remember to bring our own, which we have at home. Yeah. You know, got okay. these ones. These are cool. All right, cool. Take advantage of this beautiful scenery out here and get some photos. Now, is this everybody's uh, first time on an airboat through the Everglades? Mm -hmm. yep. yes. How do you guys like the boat ride? It's fun, fun and it's almost like drifting in a high horsepower <laughs> uh, These things are pretty, pretty quick. And folks, um, you know, uh, the main reason why we use these type of boats here in the Everglades, these airboats, the boats to like a regular boat, you know, like it goes out to the ocean, it's all basically because of the depth of the water out here. You see, for the most part, water levels throughout the Everglades are very shallow. On average, you're really only looking at about 8 to 12 inches of water out here in the grassland, in the wide open area. Which is only about that deep, it's about a foot of water. And airboats, while they're very unique, they require very little to no water at all to function. So it makes them the perfect type of vessel for accessing this type of shallow water. Folks, the water out here is also all fresh water. Yeah, this is basically just accumulated rain. 
as there is no tide system off here like there is in the ocean. The water levels simply fluctuate up or down depending on how much rain we get. Summertime right now, this is our rainy season. It rains almost every single day out here. As you can see the storms are already building in the distance. So the water levels rise up to a maximum. Then in the winter time, it's the total opposite. It doesn't really rain too much, so the water levels will slowly drop. However, the Everglades does have areas where the water is brackish and salt water that is just found closer towards the outskirts of the state on the coastline. Here it's all fresh water. So what we may see here today in the wild would be the American alligator. If you were to go further south into that brackish and salt water area, like towards the Florida Keys for example, then that's where you would find the American crocodile. Because the Everglades is home to both species, both alligators and crocodiles. Now the Everglades is also a big river system, as this is not a swamp. All of this water has a flow to it. The water flows to the south and it dumps out into the ocean. Now it's not a very fast flow rate. That's why when you look into the water, like right now for example, it almost looks like it's sitting there stagnant. But it's not, it's moving, it's just very slow. The natural flow rate of this water is roughly about one mile every 24 hours. That's very slow moving, but this water still flows. And because the water is flowing, guys, that is the main reason why right now you don't smell a real strong, you know, distinct odor that is normally associated with the swamp. Swamps typically tend to stink because the water is stagnant but they brought to this location. This water, since it has a flow to it, never really acquires an odor. So it's just clean water just flowing through the same area. In fact, the water of the Everglades, all of this water around us, as this is actually the drinking water and water supply for South Florida and Miami. It's just filtered and processed through water management plants. And this is pretty much what comes out of the tap in the city. Also folks, there is quite a bit of dry land out here as well, as it's not all water and grass everywhere. If you look around wherever you see these tall trees and shrubs, those are all islands, they're solid land. In the Everglades, they're more commonly referred to as hardwood hammocks. Now these hammocks, they're home to various different species of animals. As the Everglades, it's not all about alligators, snakes, and turtles. Out here you will find white-tailed deer, there's wild hog, armadillo, there's raccoons, possums, there's marsh rabbits, there's bobcats out here, the infamous Florida panther, there's even small black bear living in the Florida Everglades. All these different animals that I just mentioned, they simply just get around out here by just simply walking through the water. Like I explained before, the water levels are very shallow. It's very easy for them to commute from one island to another, no issues. It's kind of like walking into a sandbar, pretty much. They got manatees out here? Not in this area, it's too shallow. Um, the brackish areas where it's a little bit deeper than yet, yeah, closer to the coastline. And folks, um, we're gonna go ahead and continue to drive around for a bit now. Let's cruise around a little bit. Let's keep the wind flowing, keep this cool. I see some of you guys are starting to get hot. If you would like to, you can stand up and take pictures while the boat is underway. Just uh, hold on to the bars in front of you, okay? You guys having a good time? Oh yeah. All right, babes, what do you think? All right, so that was, uh, that was a lot of fun, actually. It was neat seeing the two engines working in, yeah. in tandem like that. Yeah. So he actually has two separate pedals that he's able to control the throttle on each one individually, mm -hmm. along with the stick on the side, which controls the fans in the back. So uh, being as large as these boats are, we're actually pretty maneuverable. We yeah. had us going nearly sideways at I certain was pretty points. awesome. Yeah, so that was, uh, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it is a bit of a shorter ride, I think, than mm -hmm. some of the other ones that we've taken, but yeah. I think the price reflects that. Mm -hmm. But also, we get all these extras and built into, so uh, overall, still, I think, a pretty good value, but uh, unfortunately, we didn't see any alligators again today. Mm -hmm. I was kind of had higher hopes, uh, thinking it was yeah. a warmer, sunnier day, uh, but still no alligators, so uh, it's surprising how difficult it is to find alligators on the Swamp Boat Tour. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen, we're one, we've yeah, seen we've one for three. We've seen one for three, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, two if you count the one at the dock at Wild Bills. Oh, uh, also so. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, very true. So, okay, well then let's do this. Let's go uh, see if we can check out the jungle trails. Yeah, we get, the, we get the show. And then we, we have the show the too. Show. Yeah, okay. and uh, they allow us to hold baby alligators here if you're into that sort of thing again. I think, I don't know, maybe we'll pass this time around. So. Oh. Hey, you want to do it? Well, yeah. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, we're doing it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's see if I can demonstrate some of that power. See who wants to do it. He 
but that's actually a very small sample of the 2,000 pounds of closing pressure they have. Hmm. So, with that kind of power, if you think of it, alligators are born with a natural fear of us. Okay. How those accidents have happened is hey, buddy. out there in the wild. Every time somebody sees an alligator, they want to see them move. You know, alligators don't move much, as you can see. Okay, so it's normal. A lot of people are eating potato chips or something. When they see an alligator, they throw potato chips at it. Oh, he's moving. The moment he eats it, that's it. He's not afraid of anybody. That's how those accidents happen. He approaches the next person here from the wall. He's not afraid of anybody. So the nose, the nostrils, right over here. They're able to smell a wounded animal from roughly a mile away. Now check this part out, okay? When these guys get into a fight, they are able to bring their eyes inside of their head. That way they don't lose their eyes in the fight. Here's what that looks like. See? It's absolutely disgusting, I know. <laughs> but as you can see, it doesn't hurt them. It doesn't bother them. They're totally normal for those eyes to be inside of their head during the fight, so they don't lose their eyes in the fight. Now, these guys also have an extra eyelid that opens and closes sideways. It's called a nictitating membrane. That extra eyelid is so important for them because that's the part of their body that acts like a solar panel. A lot of times, you see these animals just laying around under the sun. And what they're doing is generating body heat. They need to reach a body heat of 65 degrees or higher in order to digest their food. So if they eat something and they do not reach 65 degrees or higher, the food will stay in their belly, will rot, and it can make them very, very sick. And that's why this part of their body is so important for them. So with that said, I'm pretty much telling you that they like the heat. They need the heat to a certain extent. But there is such a thing as too hot for an alligator. That's happening now. Right now, they feel like you and I do. It's just too hot. In fact, where are they now? They're under the shade. They're trying to get away from the sun. And if they're not in the shade, they're in the water, trying to cool off. Out there in the wild, they do the same thing. They're trying to hide under the bushes, under the trees, and stuff like that, trying to get away from this extreme heat. Around September, they start coming out and even more it's not so hot. But right now, it's just too hot. Well, with all that said, are you ready to take a picture with an alligator? Yes! All right, all right. For those of you who didn't say anything, don't worry, it's not going to be one of these. Okay? It's going to be a little guy. His name is Snappy. <laughs> I'm gonna Snappy. Go get Snappy now. I'm gonna stand right outside. That way we have a nice background. Let's get this. I almost kissed an alligator. How do you feel about that? You gonna leave with the alligator? <laughs> no. I'm gonna keep you. Yeah. He was a little buddy yeah, though. I'll take you home. You can go right on out there. Introduce me to his family. I'll go back to my air conditioning. <laughs> Yeah, you're going out there, you meet, you meet uh, Papa Snappy. Papa Snappy, yeah. Yeah, this is Little Snappy, that's Papa Snappy. Uh. <laughs> camouflage. That was it? They're both camouflage. they got their ghillie suits on. Oh, yeah. So they did tell us there are 20 gators here in the park that we can look at. So I see two here. Uh, maybe we will find some more as we walk through the tracks. The jungle tracks, right? Isn't that what they're called? The jungle tracks? Jungle, jungle trail? trails? Okay, let's keep going. First yeah, time. I don't know. If anybody knows what these fruits are, I'm gonna show you his comment I was ask down the, below. Uh, airboat driver, but he didn't really either stop driving or stop talking long enough yeah. to take any questions. Right up there. I am kind of bummed though. I wanted to see a crocodile. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. Say you gotta go further south where it's more brackish. It's, it's yeah. too fresh of water here. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll. Well, you can go to Gatorland. They have uh, crocodiles at Gatorland. We've seen them. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to see one now. Not in Gatorland. All right, guys. Now we're gonna head over to the restaurant right there and grab some lunch. I'm buying my ice cream. Is smoking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, babe. What did you think of the uh, activities from today? Yeah, so they had a little alligator show. It was kind of more like an educational thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that was fairly quick, and they had the, the uh, photos with the alligators, kind of like you see pretty much everywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, they do charge $3 per photo per person per, 
you know, for the photos, for the yeah. alligators. Um, so, you know, I mean, overall, I'd say fairly standard. Yeah. You know, we're getting to be somewhat of experts, <laughs> professionals. Professionals. And regarding to airboat tours here in Florida. Yeah. Um, so I do think I have a, a, a decent opinion on that. Mm. Well, this is the only one that's had a restaurant, though, right? Yeah. So what did you get for lunch? Uh, so we got gator tail. You got gator tail. Yeah. You got gator bite. I already did not. I got mozzarella sticks. All right, guys. So we got some lunch. Lewis is already getting his fries ready. For some reason, he likes to put pepper on his fries, but we love them anyway. I got the... <laughs> I uh, got the mozzarella sticks and the key lime pie right here, and Lewis got the gator bites. So we're going to dig in and see what we like the most. All right, it's pretty hot. Let's go ahead and give one of these gator bites a try. I think these are coming with hot sauce. So that's interesting. You're going to burn your mouth. Mm. Very good. Yeah? Yeah, I like them a lot. Okay, so describe it for me. I know it's like cliche to say it tastes like chicken, um, but it honestly it does. It's like a greasy chicken, right? Yeah, so like before, a swampy, yeah, greasy kind of chicken. Of like salty, greasy chicken. I'm get, definitely getting some salt out of it. Mm -hmm. um, these ones aren't quite as greasy. I think a little, a little on the drier side. Really? Um, but yeah, it's kind of like kind of like a chicken nugget, like a like a different swampy like, chicken nugget. Slightly <laughs> different, more exotic. More exotic chicken yes, nugget. That's, okay. That's the key. Okay. Uh, so they served it with a lime. Are you gonna pour, are you gonna screw the lime on it and see if it enhances the flavor at all? Yeah, we can do that. I'm not trying this crap, but you can do it. The only thing is, I don't know how much we paid for these because it says market value. Uh, so I, I can tell you because I got the check right here. <laughs> What did Gator close at today? Yeah. On the S&P. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's yeah. good too, I like the wine. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll let you guys know how his pepper fries were. I'll let you know how my key lime pie was, and of course, their mozzarella sticks. How can you screw up mozzarella sticks, right? Well, you let them get cold, that's how you do it. What'd you say? You let them get cold. So that's how now. you know, yeah. That's, that's how you screw them up. All right. They almost always are too cold for me. I, yeah, I, never ordered I know. Way. And here is our check. So the bites were $9. Mott's was 5 Fries were 3 uh, Lewis had, oh, I got a key lime pie. We got two Gatorades. And Lewis had a ice cream bar. And then there's an optional 15% tip for $5 for a total of 39 bucks. How do you feel about that? How much were the Gator Bites? Uh, nine dollars. Uh, so that's a little much, but yeah, you pay a little bit more for Gator Bites. Yeah. Considering, it's, it's like the more exotic chicken nuggets you can get, chicken nuggets, ten of them at Burger King for a dollar fifty now. Yeah. It's for the dog all the time. She loves them. <laughs> those, granted, those are like the worst. I know. Puppy Boss loves yeah. chicken nuggets, and she knows if we go somewhere and nope. And she knows, and she loses her mind if we if we get Burger King and we'll get her something, she loses her mind. So overall, it's like thirty-five bucks you said. Uh, thirty-nine dollars yeah. because there is a five percent optional tip. Okay, well we did get the uh, the Gatorades and we had yeah. the Magnum Bar. Magnum yeah. Bar by itself is usually uh, yeah, four bucks. A, yeah, it's a premium yeah. ice cream bar, so yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. And plus we're on vacation, so well. you know. Okay, dig in. Yeah, the fan blew it what, what, what just happened, Lewis? You told me I got pepper on your key lime pie, but I didn't do it the fan. Y'all, Pepper Boy got pepper on my key lime pie. I did not order a spicy key lime pie. <laughs> I know, I'm just giving you crap. Love you. Why don't you go hang out with your, your new boyfriend out this <laughs> Snappy. Yeah, snappy. <laughs> All right, guys, we're heading into the gift shop, which was really good. We'll give you our thoughts about that in one second. Oh, this is funny. The Florida Triathlon. Swim, bike, run. <laughs> How do you like this one? I think I like this one a lot. Yeah. No, it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't black, that probably would be a contender. Yeah. $23. All right. This is also pretty funny. Florida fast food. That's funny. I don't know exactly what you need. There's an alligator wearing a hoodie. Okay, and the alligator in the hoodie is $19.99. That's really cute. Uh, onesies here for the kids. This one's $19.99. Teething bites is pretty cute. All right, are you gonna get a t-shirt? No. No? I think I am. Are you surprised? No. All right, let's check one out. I'm 
thinking this one. I like the color blue. All right. All right, guys. So here's your pro tips for Everglades Safari Park. I would say number one is uh, decide what time you want to come. If you come early in the morning, it's probably going to be less hot, but there's also going to be more crowds. If you come later in the day, probably less crowds, but you're going to have to deal with the heat. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I'd say number two is don't skip on the, day, the gator bites. Um, <laughs> I, I personally love gator bites, and I try to get them anytime that they're on the menu. I think they're awesome, and you know it's a fun, fun local delicacy to have. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'd say number three is uh, when the captain passes out the earplugs. Uh, they come in little wrappers, little mm -hmm. plastic wrappers. Make sure that you don't throw those overboard and uh, you know, include this beautiful landscape that we have here. Put them in your pocket. There'll be uh, trash cans when you exit the boat where you can dispose of them at that time. So that's going to do it for us here today at, in the Everglades, and we'll see you next weekend. We forgot to talk about the food. Blue says the gator bites. <laughs> Lewis said that the gator bites were good. My key lamb pie was really good. It was, in my opinion, <laughs> the perfect consistency. It wasn't too like jello-y. It was firm, it was cold, it was sweet. And surprisingly, the mozzarella sticks were good too. So yeah, it was good. <laughs>say like hey look, welcome back we're at the Everglades we're on another boat tour yeah, okay don't we're, no where are we though Everglades. great but what location it's the Everglades Safari Park okay go ahead a protected area in all of the world I believe I we'll know. fact check that could be, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the drawing a blank on down in Brazil the Amazon the Amazon yes bro bro <laughs> A to Z, Amazon. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, cut that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>